Hi everyone, this is Grace with Make Bullhead Butter and today I got to take a tour of the Mojave County Jail here in Kingman, Arizona. And I'm going to tell you all about it and you'll get to hear from the commander of the jail about some things that are really important in our county. Myself today. Think how I Hello, I'm Bob Volbracht. I'm the uh, jail commander at the Mojave County Adult Detention Facility. Um, uh, I've been asked to talk a little bit about, about the process, uh, what people go through when they get arrested. They, um, when, when a police officer or a sheriff's deputy arrests somebody on the street for uh, committing a crime, or allegedly committing a crime, they're brought to our facility here in Kingman. Uh, they're brought in and uh, we, we search them for contraband or weapons to make sure that uh, we're gonna be safe. We make sure that they don't have drugs on them. Uh, the proper paperwork is, 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 is completed and uh, we take their fingerprints and have uh, our medical staff check them out and uh, be sure they're healthy enough to be in jail and don't have any kind of uh, severe, severe illnesses. And uh, then they see a judge within 24 hours per Arizona state statute. And uh, from there, if they end up staying or, uh, or if, if they're released, then they, they go out, uh, we release them you know, right away. And, uh, but oftentimes if it's a serious crime, the judge will impose a bond uh, and and they'll end up staying for a little while, especially if they can't post that bond. And then we house them where uh, where they classify to. And by classify, I mean based on uh, previous incarcerations and uh, based on the, the type of crime they're accused of and, uh, and their institutional behavior. If they've been here before, uh, we, would, we would know a little bit about them. So um, then they end up waiting until their next court date to, uh, to see how their case moves along. There's usually a, a case management hearing uh, that the uh, judge will set uh, a date for, and um, we will get them to that. A lot of our courts are done by video these days, and uh, so that was one for, for, from my point of view, that was one good thing that came out of COVID is we're not taking inmates out of the facility and transporting them to different courts all over this county. So, uh, that's, so that's a good thing. But um, anyway, they, they uh, do wait a little while between, between each court hearing, which is, which is a sad state of affairs, really, because everyone would like to think that these, these cases move along quickly. But... Uh, in the big scheme and the big picture, they really don't. They take some time, and uh, and uh, that's just unfortunate. But that's that's where we are in, in rural Arizona. A lot of a lot of inmates that have lower that are committed lower crimes, um, and their when their cases are adjudicated, they are what we call county sentenced. They're sentenced to do time here in our jail, and uh, those people, by statute, are. Um, are supposed to, to work, you know, work for the sheriff. And that means just working in our kitchen or going out and pulling weeds at other, at other county facilities, um, different, uh, different type of tasks that, that they can do. Uh, we don't have a lot of lower level offenders um, ever since um, the, the pandemic. Um, a lot of police uh, agencies have decided to uh, not take people to jail as a first, uh, as their, as their first option. They've, um, cited and released people, um, had, had diversion programs, etc. but we have less and less of the lower offenders and more of the, of the felony offenders. Um, the length of stay, uh, is, it, it averages about 90 days, but that's kind of skewed because we have some people fighting murder charges that are here for several years fighting it due to different 
different uh, complexities in their case and different attorneys that have taken over, et cetera. And then on the other end, there's people that are in here uh, arrested at night and released in the morning. So that, uh, so that number is a little skewed. But so the, the average case that is a serious, a serious offense usually is resolved within a year. Uh, but that's a year spent here in jail.